This is a basic tutorial to show you how to use PaySource for the first time. It won't cover all the features that PaySource offers, but you'll be able to see how to get going immediately. Once you've logged into PaySource with your supplied username and password, you'll see you have some icons on the left hand side of your screen. Sometimes those icons are over here at the top right. Depends on how wide your screen is and the resolution of your screen. These icons will help you get around PaySource and they'll always be available at the top or side. This panel here is called the task pane and it shows you your staff names in boxes going down the screen. Later on you'll be able to see any leave requests that staff might have sent you or you might see notes that you've set up for yourself to remind you to do something later. On the left hand side click on employees. Now your staff will display in just a simple format. We're going to select one employee, Jamie, and over on the right hand side you'll see his details and settings appear. You can choose any of these options and view the setup details for your staff. For instance, if I click on settings, I can see that this employee is not set up for KiwiSaver, so I'm going to tick that on because I know he should be on it. So I select the little checkbox first, then click KiwiSaver, then enter the deduction from him and the contribution from the company. I'm leaving the tax rate on auto calculate and, and I click save. Right, now I'm going to go to the runner pay area and start putting the pay together. So on the left hand side I'll click on the runner pay icon and that will take me into the payroll side. I can see the three staff have their own pay cards going down the screen. With Jamie, he's on salary and I don't really need to do too much with him. So I'm going to click the little preview button in the right hand corner of his panel and view the payments. They open off to the right and I can see the summary box has what I expect to see, what he normally would get. Further down, as I scroll down I can see a breakdown of each of the payments or deductions in the summary box below. And at the very bottom of that right hand panel, I can see the termination liability to the company if Jamie was to leave today. I'm happy with the total, so I'm going to click Calculate here on his panel. With Mark, I'm clicking the Preview button again, and I'm going to scroll up and have a look. And that looks fine as well, that's what I expect to see. If I do need to make any changes to any of the details, I can select the employee's name and go to payments here and add a new payment or I can click this edit pencil next to the salary that's already there and make changes here as well. I'm just going to cancel that and close. Right so I'm happy with his pay I'll click calculate on his panel. With Clint he works varied hours and I know that I need to enter his hours that he worked this week so I'll just take the zero out and put 35 hours in for him. And the number of days that he actually worked this week goes in the side box here. If Clint was using a timesheet, using perhaps his phone app to record his time for me, the number of days that he worked would automatically appear. And the hours would automatically show here as well. So now I'm going to click the preview button and have a quick look at his calculations. Looks fine. I'll click calculate now. Let's say that I've made a mistake and I've just realised I didn't put enough hours in for Clint. To get his data back to data entry, I'll click the little cross here next to his name. Now I can make an edit, so I'm going to put 36 hours for him. And calculate. Right, everything's all ready to go. The next step is to go up to the finalise button here at the top of the screen. This will allow me to see the screen reports. Now all these reports will automatically come to me anyway when the pay is processed, but I'd like to have a look at them before I close off. The first report is the banking report showing me the bank accounts to be credited, as well as the PaySource IRD Trust account where all my banking for the IRD will go. The summary report lets me see an overview, and it's good to have a look in here because I can see KiwiSaver has been deducted for the employee and for the employer. This is a good place to check when you have staff on KiwiSaver. Payments will let me see a 
breakdown of where the payments are going and I can see that the hours that I've loaded for Clint are showing here. This is a good place if you have staff on different hours that you need to record for them as a final check. Balances lets me see the leave balance in hours that the staff have gained so far and detail lets me see an overview of all the details for anybody. If I'd like to click an employee, I can see their settings and the calculations for all of their payments this time. Next, up at the top left hand corner of the screen, I can see the total of the pay today. The little button above the total is a settings button. When I select that, I can see that all the staff are getting their pay slips. If anybody wasn't ticked on for pay slips, I can just select them here. That's all done. I just click OK now to close. Remember that at any time I can go up to the processing button up here, return back to the payroll, take somebody out of calculation and amend their pay card before I close off the pays. OK, I'm ready to close off. PaySource can obtain the payments from the company's account in several different ways. We'll look at two methods. First, go to the Close and Pay button in the top right hand corner of your screen. The first method is a direct option, where the company has signed a form, we've applied for and obtained approval from the company's bank, and that is the simplest option for the company for running the pays. So here you can see that the, the appropriate bank approval has been given, we've got the bank account that's going to be debited today, and we've got the payment date here showing. You can click into the date box and amend that date. So I'm just going to change it for a week ahead and then I'm going to click the finish button here. When I've done that, a message pops up to say the pay is closed and the next pay period has been added. And here you can see in the processing area we have another pay period ready for the next week. I did say I was going to show you another method for closing off and paying the staff. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going back up to the finalised screen. I've brought that pay back to show you another method. So I'm switching back to the other pay period here. When I click close and pay this time, it's going to look a bit different. There's no bank account loaded here. And this pay method is what we call a push payment. In other words, the employer's responsibility is to bank the payment into the pay source account. You can tell that it's got a push method selected because there is no bank account loaded here and over on the left it tells you that no payments will be automatically deducted. That means you must bank this payment to PaySource if you want it to be paid on the same day. The bank account to credit is this one here and include your company IRD number in the reference details so that we know exactly where that payment is to be assigned to. Once you've selected I've read and acknowledged these messages and clicked finish, the pay will close off. You can see a little message up here and you're back on the main screen again. If you're not sure or have any doubts at all about the payment method, please call PaySource Help Desk staff on 0800 746 700 and talk to them about the method that you'd like to use and whether you've got the right selection set up. If you'd like to have a look at the pay that you've just closed off, Click on the History button here. Click the month at the top and select the date of the pay directly underneath. Now you can see the banking report, the summary and the payments that you saw before. You can even click on Pay Cards if you want and select the Preview button to see exactly how you put that pay together. To make sure that the pay is going through on the correct date, you can select this little icon here, the information icon. When you click on that, it will show you the method that you use to close off the pay, and it will show you the payment date that was selected at the time you closed the pay. It will also show you the date that you did it. You can go to the processing icon here at the top as well, and click on the period reports at the bottom. That will allow you to open up the messages and see where the pay slips have gone. You can double check that the pay slips have gone to the staff this way. If any of the staff didn't receive a pay slip, you can send one this way. Make sure that you're on the history area by clicking history. Select the date of the pay at the top there and just below the date you've got a down arrow. You can choose send pay slips to employees which will open up a window showing you who got what. The easy way to do this is to deselect everybody else and just tick on the payslip that you'd like to resend. 
When you click OK, the payslip will be sent immediately. You can also use this area to send yourself or anyone else a set of reports from that pay. When you click the down arrow again, click Send Reports to Email. Select which report you'd like to send. In this case, we will tick on or only have the payslips go. I'll enter the email address for the company, but you can put anyone's email there and select which employees you want. You may not need all of them to go. You might just want to have marks go. When you click OK, that payslip will be immediately sent. To view a copy of the payslip without sending it, in that same pay run, click on Detail. When you click Detail, you'll be able to select which employee's payslip you'd like to see. We'll like to have a look at marks. Over on the right hand side, click the download button here. It will immediately download to your folder and you'll be able to view it when you click on it. That's it. Now, if you have any questions or queries about PaySource, please give our help desk team a call on 0800 746 700.